Bringing Christ to the Nations and the Nations to the Church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Monday, February 5th, 2024. My Faithful Ones. This daily devotion was written by Dr. Carol Geisler. The text comes from Psalm 50. Our God comes. He does not keep silence. Before Him is a devouring fire. Around Him, a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me my faithful ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. It is a courtroom scene with God himself as the judge. He summons the heavens and earth to bear witness as he brings charges against his covenant people. They recite his commands and offer the correct sacrifices, but then commit adultery, slander, and theft. God tells the Israelites, you thought that I was one like yourself. They assumed they could fool God as they fooled themselves, that God would not see through the pretense of their worship and sacrifices while they lived contrary to his commands. God is not fooled. He called his people, as he calls us all, to repentance and holy living. The offering that he desires is the sacrifice of thanksgiving. He is glorified when we call on him for help and he delivers us. At the time he had appointed, God was glorified in a mighty act of deliverance. According to his promise, God sent his Son into the world, Jesus Christ, who appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. It was a time of judgment. It was a courtroom scene again. But this time Jesus stood in the courtroom in our place. He was condemned to death and on the cross he took onto himself the divine judgment against the sins of the world. It was the judgment that should have fallen on us, the penalty that we deserved for our sins. Jesus died and rose to life, and through faith in him we are declared not guilty. As he did with the Israelites, God calls us to repentance and holy living. We trust in Jesus for salvation and offer the sacrifices that God desires, the sacrifices of repentance, thanksgiving, and prayers for deliverance. God says, the one who offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice glorifies me. To one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. Another day of judgment is coming. On that day, Jesus Christ having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. He will gather to himself his faithful ones, those who trust in him alone for salvation. Living forever in God's presence, we will offer prayers of thanksgiving to God, who through Jesus' death and resurrection delivered us from sin and death. God will create new heavens and a new earth, And that new creation will bear witness as we glorify our God and Savior forever. We pray. Lord Jesus, through faith in your name, I am declared not guilty. You have delivered me. Amen.